How's it going everybody and welcome back to Lead Therapy and thank you so very much for taking time for tuning in to my video. Bump stocks are back in the news. A Democratic Congresswoman has filed a bill in Congress to ban bump stocks. Before we get on with that story, if you watch any of my videos and you like what you see, or if I gave you some information that you didn't know, please take time to like the video and share the video. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, it would be very helpful if you do so. Also, if you're looking for another video to watch after you watch this one, I always leave two links at the end of each video and you'll be able to click on them and it'll take you straight to those videos. Also, for those that follow my other channel, Boomer Tactical, I finally made it out to the range yesterday and had my son come along and film some video. And some of the firearms we got footage of was the Century Arms MKE MP5 clone, the PTR MP5 clone, and the Shadow Systems MR920 9mm pistol. And this week I'll be working on editing those videos and hopefully be able to post some of them on the Boomer Tactical channel sometime this weekend. Alright, now let's get on with today's video. Let's take a chronological look at bump fired devices. In 2002, one of the first bump stock type devices, the Atkins Accelerator invented by Bill Atkins, was deemed by the ATF not to be a machine gun. Later in 2006, the ATF reversed course and reclassified the Atkins Accelerator a machine gun. And the 11th Circuit Court of Appeals upheld the new interpretation in 2009. Between 2008 and 2017, the ATF issued 10 letter rulings that classified bump stocks as a firearms part, which are unregulated. However, in March of 2018, as the result of the use of bump stocks in the Las Vegas mass pew pewing, the U.S. Department of Justice announced a plan to reclassify bump stocks as machine guns and banning them nationwide, and was done so by the urging of then-President Donald Trump. The final rule of the Department of Justice was issued on December 18th, 2018, and then fast forward to March 25th, 2021. The Sixth Circuit Court of Appeals struck down the ban, so now legislatures are already preparing for the ban to be overturned outright. In fact, Representative Dina Titus, a Democrat from Nevada, just introduced U.S. House Bill 5427, which would regulate bump stocks just like machine guns. So basically, tyrants that were hoping bump stocks would be a relic of the past are now trying another line of attack to deal with them. As I mentioned, this is House Bill 5427, otherwise as the closing of the bump stock loophole. Representative Titus said this legislation is critically needed to address this epidemic of gun violence. The real epidemic is that the authoritarians in places of power are trying to impose their will at the expense of our individual liberties. So what can you do as an individual to help stop this? I'm gonna leave a link in the description below to the Firearm Policy Coalition's website. And here's what they ask you to do. To help fight back against this legislation, please use FPC's convenient legislative outreach tool to write your specific members of Congress. Reach out today and encourage your U.S. representatives and U.S. senators to oppose U.S. House Bill 5427. FPC has provided a pre-written email for you to review. And this is very important, edit and personalize before sending it off. I took a look at this bill and it was filed on September 29th. And like a lot of new bills when they are filed, there's no text to it yet. And please share this with others so we can get this bill stopped. And as I mentioned at the starting of the video, if you enjoyed the video or if I gave you some information you didn't know, please like, share and subscribe and hit those post notifications. And I will see you guys in the next video.